In my book on rock and roll Australia, the early years, I say, during the first five years of rock and roll, it was almost entirely male-dominated. In its wild extremes, the music was hardly a suitable vehicle for girl singers. But as the beat softened and the frantic momentum diminished, the girls began to emerge. Nolene Batley, Judy Stone, Judy Cannon and Patsy Ann Noble, to mention a few. You see, I gave you top billing. Welcome and good evening, Nolene Batley. Good evening, Bob, and good evening to all your listeners. You're back home for a little trip? Yes, came back home for a couple of weeks uh, to see my brothers and sisters, and my brother Billy has just turned 80 years of age, and I wanted to see him for his 80th birthday. I think you're going to make us feel old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Time really flies, doesn't it, Bob? It does indeed. I tell you what, um, I, I remember this, that you have a sister called Nolene. You were born twins on a Christmas day. Yes, my sister is Carol. Yes, Carol, Christmas Carol, and Nolene for... And Noel, Noel the first Noel. <laughs> Why did you leave Australia? You were doing so well. You would left in the late 60s and you never came back. I know. I used to come back for visits to see the family and do the occasional TV show or radio interview. But I really wanted to further my career because I'd done everything that I wanted to do here. Like, I, I, I was... I'd done pantomime and, and travelled all over Australia on the tours with different artists, of course, Jimmy Little, Cole Joy, and I just felt that I needed to spread my wings and see what it was like in England, and I stayed there for many years, and I met my husband, Stephen, who's from England, and then we ended up in America. Are you not neighbours of the famous BG family? Yes. There, well, listen, we go back a long way with the Bee Gees. Of course, when they first were making their name in Australia, and I was already established, and Barry used to play all these songs to me and hopefully wish that I would record them, which I did. And so they're my really true good best friends over there, Bob. Isn't it an incredible success that they've had? Unbelievable. Now, I'm talking to Nolene Batley, and let me just go on to say what I said in the book. Close behind many of these girl singers, often ahead of them, came their mums, fiercely protective, sometimes just plain fierce. It was my first experience of the theatrical mother. Having to deal with the pushy manager of a male singer was simple by comparison. Now, was, was your mother one of those show business mothers? No, she wasn't. She managed my career and... Uh, did all my bookings for me, but she wasn't she wasn't a stage door mum. She was just there for me and she was the one that I remember years ago that gave me the encouragement to sing from when I was five years old. I've got a lovely picture I've just come across, page sixty, so I'll make sure you get a copy of this. We we did a new version of it because uh, we put a new cover on it of the Beatles combing my hair, which, <laughs> which not everybody can do. Okay, so uh, you got married. Did you have children? Yes, I married Stephen. He was uh, he had a chain of shoe shops in London, and uh, we have a son and a daughter. They're both married, and I have become a grandmother. Congratulations. Thank you. My daughter, Sasha, had twins oh, there a year you... and a half ago. Did she insure against them because you were one of twins? Yes. <laughs> and she's got, we've got a boy and a girl, little Jade and little Jake. And then my son's wife really had a baby two weeks ago, and she's ten, like two weeks old, and her name is Dahlia Elsie, named from my mother. Uh-huh. And so I'm a grandmother to three, and I'm delighted. They're my, these grandchildren, Bob, are my vitamins. That's lovely. Lovely to hear, yes. They make me feel so good and happy. You make us all feel so old, though. We still think of you. <laughs> <laughs> and what about you with your family, too? I don't wish to discuss them. Um, I, I am going to claim in December yes. if my granddaughter proceeds, well, she is, she's pregnant, lives yes. in Hong Kong, uh, she will make me the, and she thinks it'll be about my birth date on the, the 3rd of December, oh. she will make me the only great-grandfather fully employed on radio in the world, and I'll want to be in the Guinness Book of Records. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Yes. My goodness, and you sound so good, you haven't changed. When I came back and my sister Carol said, Bob Rogers is back on the radio, and I turned it on yesterday when I arrived and I heard you, 
and you sound wonderful and I really admire you coming back like that because it's a it's a nice interest. It is. Uh, as a matter of fact, I've often quoted this, but Rolf Harris, who's now 80 and still going strong in London, Isn't that great? said to me once, if you find you can do something that you love doing and do it as a job, you never work in your life. And I think that's applied pretty much to me. Mind you, there were time, there were down times when I got fired occasionally. Oh, <laughs> I'll bet that wasn't often, though. <laughs> <laughs> often, I believe you're now an American citizen. Yes, uh, my husband and I and, and children became citizens about a month ago. But we have dual citizenship. I would never give up my Australian citizenship. So you're still an Aussie, oi, oi, oi. I'll always be an Aussie. This, you know what, when I landed at uh, the airport, I felt so good to be back home. This is home always to me. Lovely. Now listen, who were who were the stars of Bandstand when you were there? Were the Allen Brothers there yet? Yes, the Allen Brothers and, uh, of course, Cold Joy and the Joy Boys. Yep. Johnny O'Keefe. Yep. Um, That'll do. That'll... Dig Richards. Yes, Dig's gone. JOK's gone. Yes. Um, why did you record the song I'm going to play called Konnichiwa Yakutan? Little... Oh, Konnichiwa Akachan. <laughs> yes, okay, whatever. Uh, Ken Taylor at Festival Records, who I was under contact with, uh, came up with this song from Japan and said, he played it to me in um, Japanese and he said, why don't we record it in English? So I said I'd love to, and suddenly it was very successful, and I was in Japan doing promotional tours, and that was the story of Little Treasure. And Little Treasure is about a Japanese mother's love for her little baby. Uh -huh. And I call my grandchildren my treasures. Lovely. <laughs> Nalene Batley, back in Australia just for a few weeks. Must get to see you. Must give you a copy of the album with your beautiful picture in it. Thank you so much. And we're going to play the song, and welcome back to Australia. Thank you, Bob. Konnichiwa Rakachan Little treasure from Japan Konnichiwa Rakachan You are Mama's little man with your cheeks of cherry red and your lovely eyes of brown in your warm cozy bed mama lies you safely down konnichiwa rakachan tiny laughing baby boy konnichiwa rakachan you are Papa's child of joy So proudly, little man Before your cut, I bow My treasure from Japan Give a smile to Mama now See the moon riding high Like a boat in the sky It is Sad man with his song of lullaby Konnichiwa Rakachan Mama kiss your tears away Konnichiwa Rakachan Be the man your papa say Hear the distant temple bells Ringing out a magic spell this is the song that they sing To my tiny sleepy king Oh, rest in love, my little man Oh, Yasami Akachan Little treasure from 